Hello everyone, welcome in this video tutorial on drawing of molecular graphics using OTEP3 software. The software OTEP3 can be downloaded from this link and this is the reference to cite this software. So along with OTEP3 software, we need two more software named GoScript and GSView to read the PostScript file written by the OTEP3 diagram. These two software can be downloaded from these links. The installation of these software I already explained in my previous video. So OTEP3 either you can run OTEP3 in WinGX or independently. The supported file format are .ins instruction file, .res result file and .cif crystallographic information file. So let's start with the tutorial part. So here I am going to run the OTEP program directly. I am just pressing the icon OTEP and a window will appear like this. Go to file, open file. As you can open .ins file, .res file or .zip file. Any file can be open. So just I am taking one file. Let's suppose I am opening the .cif file. Open it and the molecule will appear here. So from the left mouse key, you can drag the molecule anywhere. Suppose this is the uh, situation for molecule to draw the diagram. Let's you can see here all the atom can be seen. So now first first of all what will we will do? We set the ellipsoid probability for the atoms. The ellipsoid probability from 5% to up to 99% can be set using the OTEP3 diagram. Generally we keep the value from 20 to 40% or even 60%. Let's take the value 20%. Okay. Then you again right click it and then you can uh, adjust the plot line with R. So the studio displacement, rotation angle. Then there is an option set element style. You can set the style of element. Just click on it. Suppose we have carbon. Just modify it. Suppose we have want a color uh, suppose other than blue for the carbon then we can set from here here the carbon is state blue you can change any color from this window and then there are several options you want a sphere boundary principal plus boundary anyone normally normally we take the octant setting and here the octant setting line these lines generally these are four you can increase six or eight or two whatever your choice and then you can press OK. Close. So open set. Okay. But there is also other option. If you go here, style, there is option octant setting. Default octant setting, highlighted, plain, stick, pluto, and thermal hydrogen. There are several options. The most suitable option is octant setting. This octant setting. Okay. Thereafter, you can adjust the thickness of the bond just right click here then go to set bond style you can change the color of the bond from white to wheat there are several colors then solid bonds generally we choose but we can choose one line three line five line field there are several options the bond radius we can adjust here suppose this is 0 0.05 we can adjust it to 0 0.03 both and then there are several other options. I am keeping the other option as default. Just press OK. Now you can see the bones are little bit thinner. Now you can better visualize the structure. Okay. So next step is what uh, we will do the numbering. So how we'll do the numbering? Just go here, labels, and there is labeling mode option. The best option is mouse label gui font graphical user interface we generally select this one select this one and now this window will appear here what we have to do just 
left click and with the left click you can move the label anywhere suppose you want to move here and now right click it it will fix now you can see it is red until red you can move anywhere it anywhere but when you press the right click it will get fixed and it will become yellow now you cannot move this now go to the next and then right click left click and then right click left click and then right click so in this way you can name all the atoms like this so in this way you can rename all the atom or you can name the name all the atom or you can do the numbering of all the atom remember with left you can give the numbering and with right click you can fix the label at your uh, place of choice then go to exit and it will exit now the next step is go to file and there is option write post script file there are two options either you can write color or monochrome let's go to first color just press color and you will see the file has written like this this is the OTEP diagram for the compound here all the numbering are done so this is for the uh, color drawing suppose you want only a black and white drawing go to file and go to postscript file go to monochrome and it will write the monochrome file in single only one color okay so these are the default color which are taken by the otep3 diagram itself now suppose you want to change the color of certain atom just right click here go to set element style go to carbon suppose i want to change the color and i want a, a suppose i want a gray color for the carbon suppose there is gray i am selecting gray okay and then suppose hydrogen i am okay with hydrogen for copper suppose i uh, need some other color like cyan okay and then for nitrogen suppose i want to modify it to blue generally we take blue color for nitrogen okay and then oxygen it is only red then just close now you can see the color are changed now again go to write postscript file color and you can see your diagram here so you can change the color of the atoms you can change the style of the atom you can change the style of the bond you even you can take the colored bond also just go here set bond style you need suppose uh, green color let's go to green this is green okay now the color is green now go to write postscript file color and it will write the file like this so you can change the color of the atom you can change the color of the bond you can change the style of the atoms okay then let's come to the back set bond style let's take it white again white okay and now you can again write the file color and you can add the file now you can copy this file go to edit copy and you can paste onto word file so you can paste the copy and paste the file in the word or powerpoint where wherever you want okay let's go back to the otep now the other option are available go to file and there are some other option uh, here you can find edit input file you can edit the input file it whether it is ins res or the hkl file then go to content there is use asymmetric unit here the asymmetric unit is complete molecule so there is no uh, need to explain this point then go to go fragment grow fragment sorry automatic mode or user defined in automatic mode because there is no uh, symmetry so the molecule is completely here 
so there is no grow by pressing the grow button then unit cell content you can go to the automatic mode and it will grow the unit cell so in any direction you can see this unit cell there are view option this is best view if you want to view normal to 100 plane it will look like this normal to 001 plane there are several other options here so if you want to go back to the molecule go to content use asymmetric unit and it will come back okay so sometimes we uh, want to delete some atom from the molecule suppose this acid uh, this ethanol molecule is there i don't want to uh, display on my graphics so i can exclude from diagram then if you go to content there is exclude option there are several option element type named atom or specific atom let's go to the specific atom first just click it then left click and then right click left click it will select and right click it will exclude left click select right click click exclude so by this way you can exclude the specific atom type now press exit and now you can see the molecule now you can again rename it or you can do the numbering go to file postscript file color and now you can see there is no ethanol molecule in the lattice okay then there are several other option uh, include hydrogen if you don't want to include hydrogen just press it it will remove the hydrogen okay what will happen just going to go automatic mode asymmetric storage uh use asymmetric unit okay include hydrogen okay now everything is all right okay now the next option is i want to restore the excluded atoms what will i do i go to content and there is restore option element type specific atoms and you can see the again there is at all molecule now if you want to remove the hydrogen you can remove the hydrogen now the molecule is without the hydrogen there is zoom in and zoom out out option you can rotate the molecule either by the left mouse key or you can by throw these several options so i want to include the hydrogen again then i go to include hydrogen okay then the next option is in the style there is s bond search option and automatic search hydrogen bond if there is any hydrogen bond it will automatically search just press this button and you can see there is hydrogen bonding between the hydrogen of the ethanol and the oxygen of the acetate okay there is also uh, one more option here you can see hydrogen bond search option just press it and now you can include the donor hydrogen atom you can uncheck any atom if you want and then accept the hydrogen atom the minimum distance is 2.5 angstrom the maximum distance is 3.5 angstrom for the hydrogen bond and the minimum angle we can fix here we can do here 1 to 0 or any other value so this is the another option to define the hydrogen bond okay so i am again going to the asymmetric unit now there are style default octane sided is the best one i already told but there are several other option like pluto it will so like this now you can see the ellipsoid are just like sphere i again go to the octane sided here octane sided the ellipsoid probability is for 20% which is better and there is other several other option the change or tap parameter you can change the or tap parameter from here bond distance bond search distance suppose you uh, need a bond more than uh, four angstrom just edit this value and write it here 4.5 or 5.0 whatever is the value uh, then set element style and 
set atom style i already explained set you can set the bone style here then label there is the best option is mouse label with gui font then you can view along the different axes then graphics you can change the background color or background style there are set uh, several other options and then calculate you can calculate the list atom and there is list angle for you can list angle there are different angles okay so similarly you can edit the bone distance also suppose you want to change the bone distance which i already explained but just right click here set bone style and you need the some other bone style like uh, three line field and press ok now you can see the change here ok and suppose you want to change the again the same style you can go here the solid bone white wheat any color you want you can change from here bone radius for this suppose the bone is uh, seems to be too thick you can decrease the thickness then bone tolerance number of dashes and okay it will look like this okay so it will help and thanks for watching the video